Hello everyone, this is a November 14 question, paper 1 1, and the question number is 15. Uh, it's concerned with the chapter Atom Molecules and Stoichiometry. The question reads A sample of potassium oxide is dissolved in 250 cm cube of distilled water. 25 cm cube of this solution is titrated against sulfuric acid of concentration 2 mole per dm cube. 15 cm cube of sulfuric acid is needed for complete neutralization. Uh, which mass of potassium oxide, mass of potassium oxide has been asked, was originally dissolved in 250 cm cube of distilled water. Uh, this question uh, will not only help you strengthen your chemistry calculations, uh, but will also uh, aid something to your visualization uh, techniques and also give you some uh, tips how to tackle the uh, paper 3 titration calculations. So first of all, uh, we, we will do what's in the beginning. A sample of uh, K2O is dissolved in uh, distilled water. So first of all, let's construct the equation for this equation. K2O plus uh, H2O is... Uh, well, if you don't know what uh, K2O and H2O give, uh, you must definitely remember uh, what is the product of reaction between sodium oxide, Na2O and H2O because it is definitely something you should have learned in the chapter periodicity. So Na2O and H2O gives us sodium hydroxide and similarly, K2O plus H2O should give us potassium hydroxide which is KOH and balancing this equation we have two uh, potassium here so two uh, here and now uh, adding two here does uh, everything uh, it balances everything out because we have two hydrogen two hydrogen and two oxygen one two oxygen uh, this is the first part of our equation and what it says from 250 cm cube of distilled water 25 cm cube of solution is titrated against Sulfuric acid of concentration uh, 2 mole per dm cube, 15 cm cube of sulfuric acid is used. So that means uh, sulfuric acid is in the burette and uh, the potassium hydroxide, 25 cm cube of potassium hydroxide is, is, in, the, uh, is in the conical flask. So uh, it will be quite helpful if you can visualize what's uh, going on in this reaction. Now we have 250 cm cube of distilled water. Uh, and uh, sulfuric acid and uh, so the product of uh, sorry uh, pro uh, the product of reaction between sulfuric acid and potassium hydroxide uh, so the equation should be uh, potassium hydroxide and sulfuric acid uh, this should give us uh, this is a base this is an acid so acid and base should give us uh, water and a salt uh, we'll figure out what the salt is uh, the salt should definitely include SO4 and uh, potassium uh, potassium exists in ions as K plus, uh, SO4 exists as SO4 2 minus. So we need uh, 2 in uh, 2 here to uh, make this uh, plus 2 minus 2 to uh, make it 0. So our compound should be K2SO4. Uh, if we try to balance this, we have uh, 2 potassium here, 2 here, and um, uh, SO4 is balanced, K2SO4 is balanced. This is completely balanced. Uh, we'll check whether the water is balanced or not. 2 hydrogen, 4 hydrogen, 1, 2 oxygen. So if we add 2 here, it does the job for us. Now, our next step should be to uh, go with the numbers. Uh, first of all, uh, we need to ca calculate how many moles of sulfuric acid has been used in the reaction. Uh, because uh, if we know moles of sulfuric acid, we could uh, figure out the moles of potassium hydroxide using the mole, uh, mole ratios. So moles of sulfuric acid is... Uh, it's uh, concentration multiplied by volume. Concentration is 2 mole per dm cube. And we have volume in cm cube. So we'll convert this uh, dm cube into cm cube. Which is 2 multiplied by 10 to the minus 3. Uh, volume is 15.0. So this should be 15 into 2 is 30. 30 divided by 1000 is uh, 3 by 100. Which is 0 0.03 moles. 0 0.03 moles. Moles of H2SO4 is 0 0.03. So using mole ratio, moles of uh, KOH should be 0.06. Now this 0.06 is for 25 cm cube of KOH. 25 cm cube of uh, KOH is uh, 0.06 moles. Now what we have uh, first done in this uh, reaction is uh, dissolve uh, K2O in 250 cm cube of distilled water. So uh, our only product in the first reaction is KOH, so KOH is also in 250 cm cube and 250 cm cube of KOH should give us 0 0.6 moles of uh, KOH 0 0.6 moles because uh, 25 multiplied by 10 is 250 and 0 0.06 multiplied by 10 is 0 0.6 Now this is our uh, moles for this is 0 
6 and this is 0 0.6 so now we need to find the mass of potassium oxide originally used uh, using again uh, using molar molar ratios we have uh, one mole of potassium oxide giving two moles of potassium hydroxide so moles of k2o is 0 0.3 because 0 0.6 by 2 is 0 0.3 and mole is m by mr m by mr mr is uh, k2o is potassium is 39.1 39.1 multiplied by 2 plus oxygen is 16 equals to 0 0.3 uh, mass equals to 0 0.3 multiplied by 31.39.1 into 2 is 78.2 plus 16 is 98 uh, 94.2 94.2 this is equals to uh, 3 multiplied by 9.42 and then if we multiply this uh, 3 2 is uh, 6 uh, 3 was at 12, 2.93 uh, is 27, so 28.26. All our options are in three significant figures. 28.26 uh, uh, in our three significant figures. So if we do it uh, that way, this gives us 28.3 grams, uh, which means option B is our correct answer.